Hello, this is Mike from WindowsForum.com. Many people dislike Cortana for many reasons. Privacy reasons, the fact that it sends everything to Bing, etc. In this video, I will instruct you how to properly disable Cortana on your system okay now there have been other tutorials out there thus far that make absolutely no sense because they're using hacks and renaming the Cortana executable here's the secret of Cortana even though you may disable it and as you can see here it's disabled right it's disabled all of this stuff is off if you look and see what's running well you know what Cortana is still running it's eating up CPU and it's ridiculous and memory I might add so it's still running I mean there's no doubt there's no doubt about it it's running and guess what if I close to close it it's gonna come back it's gonna come back um, so here's the answer to that problem with Cortana and just to make sure that you can see it came back let me uh there we go again <laughs> so uh, yeah this thing loves to just be in charge and uh you know so the thing is there is something called group policy and we can through group policy we can shut down cortana now the way you access this and this is a different start menu because i'm using a start 10 trial i'm not i don't exactly like the new start menu so bear with me please you would do this in the regular thing as well all right you want to go here and you want to type in gp edit dot msc all right i'm going to zoom in on that so you can see it gp edit dot msc now this is the group policy editor for this local machine okay what we're going to do and usually this is reserved for uh, not local machines this is usually done through a Windows server but we can do it here administrative templates alright Windows components and we want to scroll down to search allow Cortana alright now what we want to do is edit I'm sorry not edit. Uh, yes edit <laughs> and Disable. All right. Now I'm going to show you what this does. Okay. So we're going to say goodbye to Cortana once and for all. Even though some people, you know, out there, you like Cortana, this video is geared towards people who want to disable it for whatever reason. Maybe good reason, maybe bad reason. I don't know. Uh, so we're disabling Cortana now. All right. It says disabled. But you know what? that's not going to do anything and I'll tell you why because you need to force an update to disable it for a group policy or you restart your computer but to force the update we want to run a command prompt so I you see I have it here but let's pretend I don't and pretend I have a regular Windows 10 start menu in the search bar type in CMD alright that's the Windows command con uh, it's the command console so and then right click run as administrator so CMD run as administrator this is going to give us elevated privileges administrator privileges on our machine here and let me get the magnifying glass back all right and then we're going to type in GP update forward slash force now this will force the policy update to take place and uh, there we go it is now complete now let's see what happens if I go to use Cortana alright I want to enable Cortana let's turn on Cortana okay so yes it's saying for Cortana to do its thing uh, etc 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 okay yes call me Mike test well guess what 
Cortana <laughs> can't be turned on. All right, yeah, there's no Cortana. No Cortana. All right, now let me also show you. Let's go to the task scheduler again and see what Cortana is doing. Let's, uh, let's close Cortana. Let's, we ended Cortana's task. What does this say? Cortana is disabled by company policy. Sorry Cortana, you can't be used anymore. And by the way, it won't run in the background eating up CPU cycles. Uh, so that's the gist of this video, how to properly disable Cortana. I hope that this helped you. Special thanks to Joseph Stackhouse at stack-tech.com. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Mike, please visit us at windowsforum.com. This is the proper way to disable Cortana. Take it easy.